We are here in Sidroth. Well, a lot of airstrikes have been taking place over the course of time. And of course, a lot of devastation has been caused. Uh, but uh, here you can actually see uh, many people have been volunteering, as we showed you yesterday also, uh, to actually provide food. Because in a war-like situation, uh, there is high possibility that there are food shortages. So, of course, to meet that demand of food uh, for, uh, you know, soldiers, for the IDF people, and of course, for the local civilians, uh, many have been volunteering to provide essential items, uh, of course, the food and the water. And we also have uh, one volunteer also uh, with us who can tell us uh, more about this place. Uh, so, ma'am, thanks a lot for speaking to us. Uh, so, when did you start this? And uh, what can you also tell us about the attacks that took place in Sidroth? Uh, the attacks st uh, started to take place in, on Saturday, I think. It was the 7th of uh, October. I I'm living here. I'm still a civilian. Uh, we were just like locked down in the Mamad, the safe area, for two, three days. And then I saw that they need volunteers here in Stemarot. So I came out. I came for three days ago. And since then, we're just uh, taking calls from people who need the food, who need medicine, who need the help with evacuating from their homes. A lot of civilians uh, got hit, uh, their houses got hit, uh, so they needed to just get off from here. Uh, and if also you can show us around what all things you have kept here, we can just walk and you can show us around. Yes, of course. We just uh, keep getting things from mm. all over the country, mm. people who want to help us, people abroad who bring mm. us food and uh, okay. essential things yes. uh, to be here. So people uh, also donate? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, mm. There's a lot of good people around here. And mm. then we have here a lot of people who just like take place and they're like yes. cleaning here, uh, making order, mm. uh, making those uh, food uh, cards. These are the boxes in which food, yes. food is packed. Yes, yeah? and now we're waiting for more food to come, mm. hot food, so they can uh, get it for Shabbat. Yeah. Shabbat is like, is starting today at night yes, till tomorrow night and people can... Dr mm. Okay, we have alarm. No. Wait, 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 wait. Well, well, there you can actually see uh, the, the, alarm, the alarm just rang and of course it's, it's a very dangerous situation, of course, uh, you, you can actually see the alarm just rang uh, and of course it's very dangerous and we had to run to the safe shelter over here. Uh, so of course you actually saw the panic that has been created, of course the air strikes taking place continuously here in Sidroth, so of course you can actually see the visuals of the people uh, who have actually, you know, a panic-like situation, a chaotic situation has been created uh, due to the alarming. So this is the regular thing over here. And of course, you know, alarms uh, ring over here. So of course, now uh, people had to run to this uh, safe shelter. So of course, uh, this, uh, this has been going on for a very long time over here. Uh, and of course, we were showing you how the... Uh, you know, the people are volunteering, uh, distributing food for the soldiers, uh, for the local civilians. Sir, if, if we can just talk to you. Yes, please. Yeah. So here in Sidroth, uh, are, are, are these alarms usual? Usual. When in wartime, it's usual. Not uh, every day, obviously. Hmm. Uh, and so, uh, if you can just tell us about the attacks also which took place in Sidroth. There are many attacks, but you know, it took Europe and the Allies actually five year, years to demolish Nazi Germany. Hmm. We will do, we will demolish Nazi Hamas hmm. in one month. In one month, of, of course. So, uh, of course, they, they're saying that they will demolish, uh, you know, Hamas uh, in, in the one month. Now, we will just try to, you know, go out and see what is the situation outside also. Uh, because uh, the alarm just uh, quickly, you know, the, the, the sirens were going off, the alarms were going off. And of course, the panic situation was created. Uh, due to that because uh, because you know now you can actually see uh, because rocket can fall uh, any time anywhere so of course uh, that is also a very alarming situation of course uh, we also talked to uh, you know one of the uh, commanders over here who is saying it's uh, quite usual uh, in in the, in the war time and of course we'll just try to talk to the volunteer again uh, so yes uh, you can actually see uh, the, the, the food is uh, being packed over here and yes, uh, of course, they are volunteering because uh, 
uh, in the time of war, uh, as we say, there is uh, a possibility, probable possibility that there are food shortages also. So, of course, to meet that uh, demand for food, they are volunteering. Of course, there are packets of, uh, you know, biscuits, breads, uh, and of course, a lot of uh, food also, the hot food also. Uh, they, they are supplying everything, water also, uh, to, the, to the local civilians also, and of course, uh, to the soldiers also. And uh, uh, here you can see uh, the whole, you know, stock of uh, water bottle is over here. Uh, over here also, a lot of water bottles are over here because uh, uh, any kind of shortage uh, can be, uh, you know, met. And that's what uh, is the priority of these volunteers over here. So, of course, uh, uh, it, it becomes very critical at this point, uh, you know, during the war time uh, that uh, these things are met properly. Uh, so, of course... Uh, uh, yeah, the food is uh, being packed and of course, uh, but um, uh, we, we must tell you that uh, uh, when the alarm rang, uh, a panic situation was created and of course, uh, it's, it's quite usual now uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this situation of war as the IDF official also talked uh, and uh, also, you know, told us. Uh, so now you can see uh, how dedicatedly, you know, they are packing the food over here and there also many biscuits have been kept. Uh, so, of course, uh, you know, uh, very, uh, uh, they, they, they all are standing in solidarity, they all are standing uh, in unity because in a, in a situation like war, uh, uh, it's, it's a unity, you know, uh, uh, which, uh, can, uh, as they say also, it's unity which can defeat anything. And, uh, of course, uh, we also showed you yesterday uh, how at different places, uh, you know, the food is being distributed. Many, many people are, you know, volunteering uh, to distribute food at different places. So, of course, uh, that is also being done here in Sidrod and we also showed you in Ashkel. And so, of course, in different parts of the country, uh, this is being done to actually, you know, showcase uh, the unity and, of course, uh, to, you know, express solidarity with everyone and, of course, uh, to meet the food security also. Uh, in Sidrod in Israel with camera person Dinesh Thakur, Akshit Gupta for NewsX. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.